بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده رسول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear brothers and sisters Let's get into it We're reviewing a video today that was sent to me by few people, brothers and sisters and please you have to understand the objectives of this video, of my work. Yeah, I get a lot of heat, a lot of criticism. That's fine. I mean, if I'm doing this, obviously I'm going to get it. No problem. But please, for those who see value, and there's a lot, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Zakallah khair. I want to thank those people who say. This is kind of like what the, the, the trend that I've been getting recently in the videos. I mean, in the messages. I used to watch you first. I really hated your content. I didn't want to hear it, but then I saw a good title. I looked into it and then I started seeing more and more and I realized that I was wrong. I'm not saying I'm always right. Like who can say that they're always right? They make no mistakes. So I'll start with that, that disclaimer. That's not what I'm claiming. But I do, I do appreciate the people who are saying, Jazakallah khair brother, the work that you're doing. Some things don't feel good to us sometimes because, of course, a lot of times not everything will feel good to us. Then we watch it and we see value. So for those who see value, I encourage you to spread these videos. Check out the links. You are, alhamdulillah, supporting me in the work that I do. Uh, we are doing counseling as well. People are saying, you guys are making money. We're making free counseling, man. And we're planning to even take it further to make a free counseling for all the counselors. We have seven counselors now, alhamdulillah. So, yes, we have a lot of work happening, alhamdulillah. And Allah is our witness only. And we don't need to account for anyone else, right? Alhamdulillah, we have a big team. It's not me only working. We have our teachers. We have our, alhamdulillah, our team. May Allah bless you, though, for helping us to make this happen. So click that subscription button. Hit that notification, the bell, and all that stuff that they do with the clickbait, whatever. What can we do? It is a wor work of da'wah that we're trying to reach out to people. It is a competition in reaching out to people against so many other people who are trying to reach out to people with the negative and wrong things. So, Jazakallah khair again. Big shout out to all the critics and the haters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you and bless you. Let's get into it. What are we talking about today? Well, it is a video that's been sent to me and it is none other than the Niqabi sister that I've talked about before in the previous video, right? Where I was reviewing some of these TikTok people who are doing so many things. So again, no sisters, I'm not trying to, you know, once one sister sent me a message say, bro, give us a break. You know, we Muslim women are under attack. I agree with you. You are under attack from shaitan every single day. Because you're representing. When people look at me, yeah, sometimes I wear the thobe, alhamdulillah, so they definitely know I'm Muslim. But just from the beard and if I dress normally, most people might think that it's just a fashion. And for the sisters, definitely they know they are Muslims. I understand how difficult it is, but that does not mean that you go outside of the boundaries of Sharia. Oh, brother, you think you know everything, you are, you are, you are criticizing everyone. I'm not. I'm not calling you to me. You have to understand that. I'm calling you to Allah and His Messenger. I don't want you to follow my standard or my way because that's the problem with YouTube media sensations. What if I make a big mistake? I don't know, today, tomorrow, five years from now, and I have followers and everyone's going to stand by me and say, no, but we like Brother Jibreel because he is, mashallah. Man, that's not how it works. As Abu Bakr radiallahu anh, said when he took the Khilafah, he says, I expect you guys to put me in place if I go against Allah and His Messenger. Simple. I'm worried that people are just going to blindly follow. If I make a mistake, that's not what you follow. You follow Quran and Sunnah. The Prophet said, I left for you these two things, the Book of Allah and His Sunnah. These are the things that you have to follow. Okay, I'm not calling you to myself. I'll make mistakes. I will might have a contradiction here and there. Hey, this is what will happen. And I will have to apologize if I have to and retract. And this, if I have to, I will. And I have before. But the Sharia is the Sharia. Let's not call it something else. Let's not put a beard 
on something and call it halal. Let's not put Islam in front of something and call it halal. Let's not put hijab on something and say it's halal. Again, disclaimer here and a warning. I'm going to show you only what they've posted on this channel. And this is yani, this is the channel that they've posted. Okay, it's very, very clear. Uh, this is the channel of, uh, what is it? It is Islam channel. Okay, 307,000 uh, okay, subscribers, mashallah, 307,000. It's called Meet the Viral Muslim TikToker Lifting Weights and Breaking Stereotypes in Her Burqa. Okay, so I'm here at minute 231. She's talking. Okay, first thing that goes to me, and that's that was my objective. Let's, <laughs> why blur out her back, Islam channel? Why are you blurring out her back? Because you know that this is wrong. Because you know that she is bending over in front of who? In front of, like, John here with his little panties. Okay? Look at John here. You see John? Oh, brother, you're showing the aura of a brother. There's John and there's Frank here just behind her with his back hat, where, you know, his cap backwards. And here's John with his, his legs and thighs exposed. And she's, this is our sister here, the famous TikToker, TikToker who thinks because she's wearing a burqa, um, it's okay for her to be there. If you, you know what the thing is? If she is there, no problem. <laughs> I'm not going to bash her. But when she justifies it, and when other people start justifying, these channels start justifying it, this is the problem. If she is there, hey, that's her thing. It's between her and Allah. I'm, I'm not going to go and check, where is Nikabi, this one, and where is this man, and where is this, sister? where is he going? Is he watching this movie? Or is, I'm not, that's not my thing. And that, that shouldn't be anyone's business. But when you start promoting these things and calling it as an empowerment, while Frank and John here are showing their thighs, and you're blurring out, okay, there's Steve as well, and there's, there's Johnny, and there's uh, whatever this guy's name is, I don't know, Bob or something, and then there's also uh, Leon, and there's also Tom, and you know, so Frankie, Tom, Steve, John, Leon, all, where's 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 uh, Stacy and Christian? Oh, it just seems that it's our Niqabi sister with one, two, three, four, and many others. And then, oh, there's Stacy there. And then there's also, I don't know who this is. We can call him, I, I ran out of name, man. I don't know, Mike, I guess. Mike, it looks like a Mike. And this guy looks like a, I don't know, snake or something. But anyway. So she is there, all right, and then talking about female empowerment. I don't want to show her name, and you know, people are going to say, bro, you should have contacted her. You should have contacted her, contacted her separately. You should have advised her. That's probably the first 10 messages I'm going to get on this. You should have advised her in public, but she, uh, in private, but she's putting herself in public here. And not just the other channels are promoting 187,818 views on 20th of August, 2021. Can you see it? And here's, uh, you know, whatever his name is. And this guy, look at this guy. Look, look at this. You're going to say, brother, you're showing his legs. Astaghfirullah. So look, and that's another funny thing, subhanAllah. And I'm not trying to, again, you might think you're picking, brother. You are so critical. That's all. That's some of the message that I get. So they're, they're, blo they're blocking out her back, but they're allowing his aura and this guy's aura. But look, specifically this guy, this guy, you know, uh, we'll call him uh, Frankie or Killer or something. Sorry, I'm just, I'm not trying to make fun, guys. I'm, I'm just running out of, like, my mind's not, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Okay, why are you blocking out, and look how many men, one, two, three, four men again, five here, and blocking her out. Okay, and here again, blocking her out. Oh, there's uh, Tina. Tina came in, okay, and she's more covered than the other dudes. But why are you blocking out? Why this circle? Oh, Islam channel. If she's, if, why are you blocking it? Why are you blocking it? Honestly, this is my question to anyone. Let's, let's hear if this sister is doing all these things, you know, Okay, here again, blocking her back. Um, is something positive. It's not restricting. It's not oppressing. It's not what 
the media sometimes um, it's not restrictive it's not oppressive it's not so we're trying to give here the non-muslims to show them how how non-restrictive and oppressive we are you know there's no point in hijab and niqab only if you're you're blotting out those things and then you're around those men there that are not covering the aura it's like how many women we've seen in this video three how many men not covering their aura about 10 and who knows how many gyms so it's a mixed gym number one do am i telling people not to you know women are not allowed to uh women are not allowed to to work out no i mean i've been encouraging people i hope communities inshallah can provide gyms for sisters i agree with what the sister's saying you know work out be in shape subhanallah a lot of them, you know men and women complain that they're out of shape work out being shape bismillah do all these things to take care of your your saha your health which is an amana without a doubt but you showing yourself in a mixed gym like that are telling now imagine 187,818 if only 818 sisters out of those 187,000 watched it, I'm gonna say, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to the mixed gym with Frankie and Steve and Bobby and Tom and Dick and Tracy and Harry, and I'm gonna mix, and I'm gonna be wearing my burqa. Hey, well, the sister did it, and Islam Channel pushed it, so we must be a good. You see, you're giving the wrong thing. If you wanna go, that's your thing between your Allah, but don't publicize it. Don't encourage others to do it. This sister wants to do her thing in front of the other men, just because she thinks she's wearing burqa and that's okay. That's between her and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, no one's gonna come look for her. But now you're publicizing it. You're inciting other women, telling her, well, you know, we wanna break the stereotype that Islam is restrictive and Islam is condescending, Islam is, is oppressive. So I will do it by putting my burqa on and going and bending over in front of Tom, Dick, Tracy, Stacy, and John and Bob and, and Harry. And then the people are promoting this. And again, I'm going to get smashed, right? Oh, brother, why are you criticizing Islam channel? Why are you putting then this? Why are you blurring her out? Let her be the way she is if you think this is halal. I want you, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, here they forgot to blur it out because maybe she's not blur, blur, bending that much. Okay? But look at that. Why? While wearing her burqa has gone viral. Yeah, really. That's that's a problem to me. If we would have just heard and comprehended. Comprehend. I want a question. I want things to be answered. Here, this is a perfect picture. I, and I apologize that I'm showing, uh, you know, Steve's thighs here. Okay, his little panties. I mean, those are panties. I'm sorry. Okay, with all due respect. I want someone, either from Islam Channel or from whoever, to just tell us, like, why blot this out? Why blur it out? I mean, she's wearing a burqa, right? She's halal. According to you and according to what you're preaching here and what you're presenting to people, it is halal for her to be there and what she is doing. Why are you blotting it out, number one? Why blur her part because she's not really showing anything supposedly right why are you blotting it out here when she's when she's bending why why this why this and why not her look at her if you can see her legs properly i'm sorry again i, I apologize may allah forgive me but sometimes you got to make a point okay take it easy and here again you can see you know steve with her again in the back okay but yet we are making sure that our sister is blurred out so if you're thinking that she's doing halal, why the blur out? If you're thinking that it is not halal and you're blurring it out, then what's up with Steve here? Why is Steve and Mike and, and all the other guys, you know, but specifically Steve there, you know, uh, this guy here, why, why is he not blurred out? <sighs> Subhanallah. Sorry, you guys didn't see that. But here, right? So here she's blurred out. Look at that again. But not Steve, you know. Steve was, you know, was 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 with with his little panties. I'm sorry to say this, but that's kind of what it is. There's Steve with his little panties, and she's blurred out while wearing her burqa. Have gone viral. I want these things answered. And people say, "Oh, what's your problem, bro? Why are you picking on everyone? You're making your career." Yeah, I've been on YouTube for 15 years, making my career from picking on people. 
we're trying to educate people. If you want to go again, number one, let's 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 break it down. Okay, let's end it because I don't want to take too much time. Number one, let's break let's break it down. <laughs> All right, wait. Here we go. Why are we promoting this and blurring her out? Why? If it's halal. If you're blurring out thinking that it's haram that she's bending over, why are you not blurring out Steve there with his little panties on? All right? That's the second point. Number three, it's no one, if she wants to go to a gym that's mixed and wear her burqa and all that, whatever, but now you're encouraging and promoting this, but you're still the two points that I made before that don't sit well, right? Like what you're promoting, you're promoting something that has to be blurred out. So every sister that's going to go now in the gym now, she's going to be blurred out or what? And last but not least, I encourage the communities, please provide safe spaces for sisters where they can work out, they can wear their things, whatever, and just, you know, do, we need coaches like this. We need sisters to be in shape, no doubt. Brothers are coming to our counseling sessions. They're saying, man, my wife is out of shape. Like there's no tomorrow. She had kids. We understand, but she needs, you know, to be in shape. We understand. So we need these coaches. I think we need this kind of sister, but she's in the wrong place. Okay. And if she wants to promote it, that's even worse. If she's in the wrong place by herself, not promoting, that's between her and Allah. That's the next point, right? But if she's in the wrong place, being blurred out by Islam channel who's promoting this, then that's a problem. Because you're promoting something that you think is wrong because you're blurring it out, but not blurring Steve out though. You guys following my, my line of thought or not? I hope you are. It makes sense to me. So this is kind of the things that I would like to be addressed if possible by anyone. Because what are we doing then if not? What are we doing by blurring, but promoting, but blurring, but not blurring, and encouraging what? Why not Islam channel or anyone else, or this sister, get out there and encouraging sisters to work out and encouraging communities to start female-only gyms? And also, it looks like it's somewhere in the West. And by the way, having grown up in Canada, I know that there's all women's gyms. Oh, but if she would have been in all women's gym, now there you have another problem because you have a lot of other women, so then you cannot propagate or promote it, right? Because then you would have to blur all of them. But they didn't blur Tracy there. Do you see all the contradictions? Do you see, my brothers and sisters, what happens when you try to justify something in the Sharia by putting hijab on it, saying it's halal? Putting hijab on something doesn't make it halal, necessarily. This is a skewed and a very superficial understanding of Sharia. Putting a beard on something does not make it halal. Putting Islam in front of the word bang doesn't make it halal. Or putting a stamp halal sometimes on a thing, and you know what kind of controversies we've had with the halal stamps in the, in the past. You know very much what kind of controversy Islam production, other channels have exposed these things. One Path Network has exposed recently issues uh, with halal meat and halal things that have halal products. Just because you put something doesn't make it halal. That's what I'm trying to say. There's more to it in the Sharia. So let's not play with these things because I consider this, this video incorrect. However, I encourage people to please make safe, safe spaces for women, um, make gyms for women, let them do that. Let the sister video just for her. Make these kind of channels only for sisters. You can restrict, you can make it private. Get the sisters to do it. That's something for them, inshallah. So you don't have to blur things and show a contradiction in what you are trying to present. I hope you guys reach at least till this point in the video, inshallah, and not just click off at the beginning. For those who have reached till this point, uh, you know, leave a comment there, barakallahu fikum, and check out the descriptions and support this work. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.